Qatar's emir is in Uzbekistan as part of a tour of Central Asia. Great news for the economy as Qatar's budget surplus exceeds expectations. Health centers are set to introduce cupping therapy. Stick around for more. And finally, it's another win for Qatar at the Asian Under 20s Championship. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar's emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani met with the president of Uzbekistan during an official visit to Samarkand on Tuesday. A number of agreements were signed between the two countries, including one for the exemption of travel visa requirements for holders of the diplomatic passport. The emir is currently visiting a number of countries in Central Asia, including Tajikistan and Kazakhstan. On Thursday, Sheikh Tamim will give an opening speech at the Astana International Forum, where leaders, organizations, and academics will convene to take on key global issues. Qatar's budget surplus hit $5.4 billion in quarter one of this year. This is in stark contrast to figures from December last year, when Qatar announced the budget surplus of nearly $8 billion for the entire year. This means the latest figure shows that at least 68% of the initial budget surplus has been achieved during quarter one alone. Meanwhile, the total revenue for the first quarter reached $18.8 billion, the majority of which came from oil and gas revenues. In other news, cupping therapy could soon be rolled out across primary healthcare centers. Also known as hijama, the ancient treatment is currently being piloted at the Al Muslal Health Center. If rolled out across the country, patients in need of cupping therapy could be referred by their family physicians. And in sports, Qatari athlete Jibreen Ahmed has won silver in the men's shot put at the Asian Under-20 Athletics Championships in South Korea. Ahmed cleared a distance of 18.85 meters, falling short behind India's Siddharth Chaudhry, who won gold with a 19.52 meters mark. This is the third medal for Qatar at the tournament. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.